actually my first job, they put me on a drill press and we had all these brass parts. And this, this was a gift. It was horrible, but it was a gift because it, it I remember it. All these years later, I always remember it. And when it comes to documentation, when it comes to teaching and showing people the right way and making sure you double check and say it twice, it's why I do it. But they put me on these brass pieces and I had to chamfer all these parts and they were like 8,000 parts. And I had to chamfer all these parts. But, but the lock, the stop on the drill press had moved because I was kind of pressing down a little bit. Well, the chamfer got a little bit bigger and shinier, and I thought it looked great. I thought it looked awesome. I didn't understand the tolerance involved, and they basically let me stand there all day, and I scrapped all the parts. I scrapped them all. $12,000 damage. $12,000 damage. Sorry, Dave. My first week. But then they put me on a prototrack. And, and you program rectangles and tool pads and different things. I was like, I'm making something. I draw, I paint, I do all these things. Like I'm making, I'm taking something from nothing, a raw piece of material, I'm sawing it, I'm putting it up here and I'm like programming a rectangle, you know, cutter comp off, bam, 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 popping in holes, making something, flipping it over, cutting off the back. And I'm like, that's awesome. I just made something. A little while later, a little while later, they put me on a CNC machine. Just operating, pressing the button, pressing the button. But the prototrack had already showed me how you do a zero, where your datums are at, how you establish the part, cut off the back, then flip it over, how you do everything you can on the first side when you're establishing the datum so everything's perfect. Like it showed me the whole concept. So when I went over to a CNC machine, I just like pressed the button. Bah, bah, bah. Well, maybe not. Bah, bah. Maybe like, burp, burp. you know what I mean? Like 30 inches a minute, 50 inches a minute, mid nineties, you know, just making parts. It's 10,000 RPM. Don't run it over 7,000. The machine is very expensive. Let's just baby it make amazing parts move forward making parts boom 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 every day i went in and every day i fell more in love i looked at it and i said to myself like if we're running at 30 inches a minute what if i change 5000 RPMs to 7,000 RPMs and run at 50 inches a minute. Boom. Burp. <laughs> part, the part looks just the same, but now it's quicker. I got a thousand parts here. I do, I do it again. Boom, 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 boom. Eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand. 50 inches a minute, 80 inches a minute, 100 inches a minute, 150 inches a minute, 200 inches a minute, 250, pop! You know what I mean? <laughs> but I started running fast. And people would say, well, your quality is going to be this and your quality is going to be that. But I started like as an artist doing oil paintings and stuff, I started like, like getting into the material and thinking about every side, every little radius, even if it doesn't call out, let's put a 3,000, 5,000 radius right there. Let's take this corner right here. Let's speed up, let's slow down. Let's, let's check these levels. Let's, let's establish all this at the same time. I started like, I started just really thinking about where I could speed up, where I should slow down, rough fast, when we finish the part, slow it down, baby it, take the pressure off it. One day, you know, one day I was just like, I was just like, it's time. Like, you know what I mean? Like I wanna program, I wanna do things. I just thought it in my head, you know, and Kevin, the son was the programmer. Kevin ends up having an argument with his dad. Kevin, is leaving the company. The dad comes to me and he says, you know, Titan, and this is six months in. 
You know, Titan, I've never seen anybody that has it like you. I'm gonna give you an opportunity. I could hire a guy for 25 bucks an hour to come in and program, but I'm going to have you program, and Kevin is gonna spend his last two weeks training you how to program. When you get your first program done, I'll give you a dollar raise. When you are programming, like, on a daily basis, I'll give you another dollar raise and I'll just keep keep doing it. The first day Kevin worked with me, I made my first program from that day on. I made program after program after program. Kevin ended up buying the company from his dad, working something else so the dad would retire. Kevin's like, you're running with it, Titan. You're running with it. I'm going to work on sales. You take care of the shop. Less than a year, I'm the shop foreman, making money for the company. Every time Kevin comes, I'm like, look, look, look at these parts. These parts were 12 minutes, now they're five minutes. These parts were 30 minutes. They were all his programs, so I was a little cocky, but they were 30 minutes and now it's 20 minutes. You know, I just started like really like going after it. Boom, 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 boom. I told you the story early on because all of a sudden I'm not boxing, I'm in a machine shop and Kevin is seeing me as not a boxer, not a ex-convict, not a this and that. He's he's like this this guy Titan comes in early. He works hard. There were times where we had a job and it was impossible to get done and it was like Thursday night and I had to ship on Friday and there's no way that we can do it. And I would go home and eat. Kevin would go home. I would come back and from seven o'clock until six in the morning when Kevin came back, I would work on that part and then we would ship it the following day. That's what it's about. It's about working. It's about making products. It's about working hard for your employers. It's about you know, making things in America. Those early years of working as Denola Manufacturing, you know, it really taught me because once, once you come from nothing and you have something, and then for me, you know, having something, these expensive ma machines, these expensive tools, the, all these things, like I took pride in it. I took pride in it. I was just like in boxing. When I'm hitting the bag, I'm hitting the bag as ho I'm hitting it hard. And I and I know who's walking through that door. I know who's who's looking from the side. I know, you know how the world works. So when when people are around, I'm I'm giving it a little bit extra. Boom, boom, boom. You know. I took that into manufacturing. I took it into manufacturing.